All right, sweetheart. Okay, guys, I'm just going to get me a little bit better in here. That's it, I think. Okay, so let's start with a lovely, lovely warm up. So we're just going to step touch, step touch. Oh, I'm hoping, wow, gorgeous was it last Monday. Now it's all rainy and horrible. And take a little swivel. Switch legs again and then switch your arm into tricep. So again, back and in. Two, three, four, five. Five, so no one who's watching the video. Janet said to her, so no planking today with the guy. Five, four, three, two, one. We'll switch around. And 12. 
your shoulder into front raise. these out. I did a bit of rowing this morning. Oh, switch sides. Again, lift. 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, through the crown of the head, six, five, four, three, two, one, well done, pick your other one up, just going to get nine, and then just come down, we won't raise feet, just keep down, and one, yeah, I'm fine. Two, three, four, five, five, four, three, two. It's off when you stub your toe. And one. Well done. And then up. I don't know if I can do these ones in this, but I'll try. In. I usually change my weight, but I'm trying. Be a bit stronger. Three, two, and one. Well done. Good work. Place it down. I'm going to move these actually. Just a nice little stretch. Lovely stretch. Let's take our front, the hand that's at the same hand as the leg that's at the front. Reaches up. Grab the other. Give a little pull. Push over. Try and keep a nice straight linear line. to center the hand behind the back take it up into tricep just push it in and then just out in front just pull it across And then soften that front knee, chin to chest, hips back, gently, gently down. Just rest there for a good 20 seconds. One breath in, gently restart, one by one, nice and slow, yeah, remember 
spring. Stretching is super important when you've done weights. Reach up, pull, and push the hips out. Take some deep inhales through the nose. Out through the mouth. In. Take the hand on the head, take the other one behind. Gently down, really important to keep everything stretched out after strength. Center, the hand behind the head goes overhead into tricep, push down. Then take it out in front, just pull it across into that deltoid. And then just take your hands behind your back and just have a nice stretch out through the pecs, chin to chest, and then gently down. Take the hands back down slowly to the sacrum and then onto the floor. And then take your legs a little bit wider, take one hand and then the other hand on top into that hamstring stretch. And then the other way. Back to centre. Bring the feet slowly in. Gently up, and then take hold of something, whether it's a wall or a roller. And we're going to do a little bit of hip extension work. So we're keeping down with our foot, so we're not going on to toe. Tuck the tailbone, draw the tummy in. Yeah, and then we're just going to squeeze the bum. So we're not lifting super high, just about squeezing, working the bottom. We have a bit of softness in that front knee. So don't worry about your balance, grab hold of a wall. So if you touch your bone, you'll feel it working. And then in, out, in, out, three, four, five, six, seven, Eight, take that foot back, just have a nice little gentle calf stretch, nothing major. Straighten the front leg, take the heel away, not the heel, sorry, heel down, foot away, gently down. Well, 
take that foot down, heel to floor, hold. Spread the front leg, hips back. You can either take that heel into the floor if it feels comfortable or just keep the foot down, let the head hang. Take some deep in out breath. See if you can take it into the helicopter one. Mm. I'm always tuning in my massage bed when I do this. So I've got a massage straight after this. And gently down. And just because the neck's can be very tight, we're just going to take a little retraction of the neck, a little chin to chest. And gently take right ear to shoulder. And left ear. And right. And then chin to chest. Keep that chin in, retract it in. Try and keep it there. Length with the crown of the head and length with the chest muscles. Give yourself a little pelvic tilt, find that neutral spine and then draw the tummy away from an imaginary hot t-shirt. Bring the right leg up, keep the core engaged, bring your left leg up. Keep that core engaged, nice gap underneath the lower back so you're in neutral, not in print. <laughs> you alright babe? Yeah. And then gently take one foot out and then back in and the other. And clear three, clear four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, ten more.
gently down. Just give yourself a nice couple of big pelvic circles, that uh, tilt, sorry, forward and back. And then just get the feet really wide up the mat, and just internally rotate that left hip, foot and knee in, just to open up the hip flexor a little bit. And then the other way. And then one more. Well done. Back to centre. Just gently come off your elbow. up. Take it to one side. Grab hold of your, your ball. If you haven't got a ball, you can do this on the floor. Place the ball underneath the lumbar spine, that little hollow of the lower back. Give yourself some little pelvic tilt. So again, you can do it on the mat if you haven't got a ball. Just release. You can do a couple of little bridges. So go into pelvic imprint and just lift up, lift the hips and then gently down. And again, lift. And down. Lift. Down. One more. And then come back to that neutral position. Take the right leg up and the left and then into a straight leg. So make sure you've got a nice chin to chest. If you've got the balance, you might want to take your hands underneath your head to support the neck. Keep the ribcage down, draw that navel in, nice flat tummy. Flex your feet to get a bit of a calf hamstring stretch. Bring the right leg towards you, the left leg starts coming down. You might want to stop there. You might not want to go this far. Sometimes to go too low, your pubic bone will edge forward and your belly will start to what we call dome. It will start to lose its flatness. And the other side. And again, nice control. So think about this as strengthening the core, but also getting that lovely stretch through the hamstrings. You can't balance on the ball, just come off it. In scissor, we tend to start in imprint, so at least if you tilt a little bit forward, you're only going to neutral. your ankles together, bring the knees into chest, stretch out that lower back. Beautiful. First one foot down and the other. Lift up into bridge. If you've got your ball, take the ball between the inner thighs. Stay up in your bridge position. Okay. I'm going to take my heels away from the floor, not my heels, the balls of the feet, just because my calves are tight. So I don't want to go up on toes like we normally do. If you want to keep feet down, you can. Tuck your tailbone, keep high. Just hold into that endurance of the bridge. And then squeeze the ball. One, two, three, four. Then drop. One, two, three. Four, squeeze, one, two, three, four, drop, one, two, three, four, take the feet down, take a breath in, slowly lower. And just walk the feet back a little bit, and we're just going to do three mobility drills, gently roll back, squeeze the ball, come on up. Gently down. And again. 
down gently as you come into bridge, push your feet firmly into the mat. Breath in, slowly down. Two more. Squeeze the ball, push the feet into the mat, activating the pelvic floor. Breath in. Slowly down. One more. Good. Walk your feet away a little bit. Take your hands underneath your head. Yeah, elbows nice and wide. Chin to chest, ribs engaged, your ribs together, navel to spine. As you lift up, keep the elbows wide, squeeze the ball. One, two, three, lower halfway. Lift up, one, two, three, lower halfway. Lift up, one, two, three, lower halfway. And again, one, two, three, lower. One, two, three, lower. Four more. One, two, three, lower. One, two, three, lower. One, two, three, lower. One, two, three, lower. Well done. Take your feet now. I've got my trainers on. My feet are a bit cold today. So we're going to take our knees out wide, we're going to take our chin to chest. If you've not got, well you can see it with the trainers as well. As you look up, you'll see that you've got a diamond between your feet. Drawing the tummy in, lift up, look between the diamond. Lower back down, try and do it in neutral. Lift, lower, lift, lower. with it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Well done. Gently down again. Nice knee into chest. Have a little roll around. The other way. And then just gently take your arms to capital T. Release the back a little bit, glue the legs together, take the knees in one direction, the head to the other. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, draw the belly in. Back to centre the other way. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, draw the belly in. Back to centre. Two more. Inhale, let the belly rise. Out breath, back to centre, the other way. One more. Centre. Well done, excellent. Let's come over onto our side. And we'll just do side leg either side. So lengthen the top, we'll just, we won't do clam, we'll just do a side leg lift and do some nice stretches. So draw the tummy in, point the foot, lift for 12 and lower. For 11, 10, One, two, three, 
six, to centre, just do a normal figure four stretch, just let that knee come out to the side, just hold it. We'll hamstring stretch it in a minute when we've done the other side. And then get to the other side however you want. If you want to do a roll up to get up you can or you can just turn over. I'll give you 30 seconds or so. We'll take a breath and if you're doing roll up with me, take your chin to chest, arms up to ceiling, ribcage nice and flat. Forward, reach. Re-step back up and onto the other side. So again. Always get your set up right, bend the bottom knee, or you can keep them stacked if you prefer, as long as you're not rocking. Bend the bottom knee, lift up the bottom wedge. You can either take hand here, if you need a bit more stability here, or a bit more challenge into overhead. Drawing the tummy in, make sure the hips are facing forward. We've got 12 lifts with a point. each direction. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Circle back. Two, Beautiful, bring it in. And then just into that little glute stretch. Whoa. Try and do something with a calf, and I went on the tread, it just doesn't like it. So I've 
being on the rower today. Um, yeah, just trying a few things out. But yeah, it just needs to stretch out, that's all. So we're just taking the foot in and out, into that inversion, eversion of the foot. Don't neglect your feet, please, guys. Four. Three. So I don't normally do it as long as this, but it feels so good. And then just hold the foot in and just take it in and release it. In and release it. In. Try to just do a bit more cardio. I've got my retreat in two weeks. So I've been a little bit of a figure of off at Christmas or the summer. I'm trying to give it for two weeks. Let's see how that does it. And then over, turn the head the other way. Bring it back to centre. And then bring it in again. Bend the knee, bring the leg up, take it out to the side. Soften the knee to bring it back in. The other side again. If you like me, you might carry more tension through one foot. Heel towards the ceiling. In and out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In. Out. In, out. Yeah, this one's much less tight. And then over into a little floss, and then two. Soften back to centre, flip it over again. Back to centre and then out. And we've managed to avoid toes, I think, today. Bring it out to the side. At least it's not raining. I've got a, oh, is it raining? I've got a rush clock around the block. And gently soften, let it go, let it go. And then Janet, just however you want to come up, sweetheart. You might not be able to go on there for quite dealing with your toe. And just if you are watching at home, just take a lovely cow pose with an inhale. And an exhale as you go around. Inhale to stay. One more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, and just gently taking both heels down, walking your hands back to your feet, have a little rock, rock the toes up, rock the heel up, rock the toes up, and gently up. Oh, I enjoyed that. Thank you.